طب معاشرة الإخوان الله أكبر والله we need this chapter sisters الله المستعان the manners of interacting with one's brothers and of course one's sisters for you as sisters you have to take care Allah says in the Quran سبحانه وتعالى الأخي لا يوم إذن بعضهم لبعض عدو إلا هو المتقين سبحان الله Friends, on the day, on that day, it means the day of Qiyamah, Yawm Al-Qiyamah, will be enemies, one to another, except Al-Muttaqeen, the pious. What is this word? Fos? Fos? F-O-E-S? Pious. No, no, Fos. Is this Fos? Fos. Fos? Fos, like enemies. Enemies. Tayyip, so... In this dunya, we are friends. We meet every day. We invite each other. We travel together. We live together. We love each other. Friends, at the day of judgment, okay, you will be my enemy. I will be your enemy. I hate you. You hate me. I curse you. You curse me. At the day of judgment. Subhanallah. But in dunya, very close. Friends, the, the bonds are very strong in dunya. But the day of judgment, I curse you, you curse me. Subhanallah. Shaykh, what you are saying? This is Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said in the Quran, بعضهم لبعض عدو. But there is an exception. If you don't want that your friend to curse you, if you don't want to curse your friend, to uh, insult your friend, you have to be from the exception. إلا المتقين. Okay? If you are a righteous, a good practicing Muslim, then you will be with your friends, okay, على سرور متقابلين. In paradise, على سو facing each other on a first nature, on nice chairs. طيب, so what is the point? The point you have to be a righteous, a pious. You have to choose the good friends, the righteous friends, not the funny. Because sometimes, well, ah, this is a good friend. Why? Mashallah, she is funny. MashaAllah, she, she knows everything, but in dunya, not in the akhirah. She talks about the mobiles, the cars, the bags, the watches, the gold, the silver, everything, except the Quran and Sunnah. So she's a good friend. No, she's not a good friend. Who knows everything about the dunya, who knows nothing about the akhirah? SubhanAllah, she's worse than animals. Allah al-Musta'an. What is the importance of this chapter? The Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam said, A man is open the religion of his Khalil. So let each one of you be careful about the person he chooses to be his intimate friend. الرجل على دين خليله فلينظر أحدكم من يخالل This is a good hadith but it is a scary hadith for some people. So if you are going to have a Khalil okay what does it mean Khalil? What does it mean Khalil? Okay, like when we say Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam is Khalilullah. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam also is Khalilullah. Deep. Khalil means, uh, some of you say the friend. It is not only friend. Khalil is something more than a, a friend. Okay. What is the Arabic uh, word? Khalil from al khulla What's the new khulla That his love or her love enters my heart and the love of my, this lady okay mixed with my heart khulla it enters inside my heart like you know you, you know if i if you have yani like this cloth what will happen if i pour, pour the water okay it will absorb the water it will absorb the water so my heart absorbs the love of this sister Tasharrab. Okay, you know the ayah about the people who worship the, the, the calf in Surah Al-Baqarah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about them, وَأُشْرِبُ فِي قُلُوبِهِمُ الْعِجْلِ Subhanallah. وَأُشْرِبُ فِي قُلُوبِهِمُ الْعِجْلِ Subhanallah. Wallahi, this is great. Go back today and check this ayah. Okay, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَأُشْرِبُ فِي قُلُوبِهِمُ الْعِجْلِ what is the meaning of that? That subhanallah, they love the calf 
and the love of the calf enters their hearts. And like, as I said, like the sponge, when the sponge and absorbs the water. So this is Khalil. Khalil means that I am very happy when I see. Yeah, for example, one of your friends, Aisha, Fatima, Sumaya. Okay. So what does it mean that she is your Khalil? When I see Sumaya, for example, Allah, I, I feel happy. If she's absent today, she's not in the class. I'm feeling boring and bad. Okay, when I see her mobile, when I see she's sending message, I'm very happy. Okay, Khalil. Okay, if you invite friends for a dinner, immediately you think about Sumaya. So everything is Sumaya. Your life is Sumaya. Only an example, yani, of Sumaya. So she's Khalil. So if you have a Khalil, be careful. Your Khalil should be a good practicing Muslim. She should be a good practicing Muslim. This is very important. That your friend, not a rich. Well, who's your friend? Well, my friend is so and so. Why? No, she is rich. Every time we go outside, she invites me. She pay. She pays the dinner. She brings nice gifts to me. Okay, no doubt this is good. Makes me happy. But who is the one practicing the hijab, telling me about the hijab? Okay, who is advising me? Who is giving me nasiha? This is the good friend. Because nowadays I don't like the friend who is giving me nasiha. If she gives me nasiha, I try to avoid her. I try to block her. Astaghfirullah al Okay, no, no, no. Don't call this uh, sister. Every time she, she, she comes to us and she is trying to tell us uh, uh, a lecture or she is making, uh, yani, uh, telling us about the hijab, about the ibayat, about the niqab. Every time she's telling us about the, uh, the bid'ah and this. The this is the good friend. This is the good friend. Okay, if you have a friend like that, okay, don't miss this friend because she will be the, with you in paradise, inshallah. So the Prophet sallallahu said, فَلْيَنْظُرْ أَحَدُكُمْ مَنْ يُخَالٍ Why? Because your close friend will, يعني, will make for you the path, the pathway. You will follow him. So he's a good person, I will be a good person. He's a bad person, I will be a bad person. Like that. Let's see the manners. Let's see the manners. The Prophet sallallahu said about choosing a companion and a friend. He said, لا تصاحب إلا مؤمنا ولا يأكل طعامك إلا تقي. Well, you feel it, subhanAllah, when you read this hadith, you feel it is a tough hadith for us. Especially in those days, we feel it is tough. Allah Musta'an. Don't keep company with anyone except for the believer. And let no one eat your food as a guest. Okay, as I guess this is between brackets. It means it is not literally mentioned in the hadith. Except for a taqi, the righteous person. Okay, what's the meaning of sahib illa mu'mina? Immediately when I mention this hadith, okay, the brothers say, uh, Sheikh, but I have non-Muslim colleagues at work. The classmate, he is not Muslim. Okay, or uh, she is Muslim, but she doesn't care about the hijab. She is from uh, يعني, a deviant sect. If you notice the hadith, the Prophet said, لا تصاحب We لا تصاحب as a friend, as a companion. Okay, because تصاحب from الصحبة, الصحبة is less than the Khalil. الصحبة is less than the Khalil. طيب. What should I do? Again, as a friend, okay, you have to choose the believer, the good practicing Muslim. Then she is your friend. Okay, but for example, at work, I have, yeah, for example, you are a teacher in a school, or you are a student. You are a student. How many students in the class? Wallahi, there are 20. Who are these 20 students? Okay, some of them Muslims, some of them non Muslims, and the Muslims, some of them good, some of them bad. So, what should I do? Okay, no problem. Maybe. When, you, uh, when I enter the class, I say, Salamu Alaikum, 
and my intention is the Muslims. طيب. And when I chat, okay, someone needs a help. Okay, I can help or I need a help. Maybe I ask them what was the question, what is the answer, which page I should... You can ask anyone. But if I need to take an, a mobile number from uh, one of them, why? Because I want to do my homework together. We want to study together. I want to invite someone to my house and also I want to visit her. Okay, then choose the Muslim, the good believer. This is important. لا تصاحب إلا مؤمنا. Then ولا يأكل طعامك إلا تقي. طيب. What is the meaning? Uh, and let no one eat your food except for تقي. طيب. أنت ما سكن مرة حيبة. شكرا. Here, what is the meaning that? I should not provide food for except the taqi. It is not allowed to feed the, the, the non-Muslims. Okay, no, it is allowed. It is allowed as a charity. Yeah, for example, we can, uh, in Surah Al-Insan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيُطْعِمُونَ الطَّعَامَ عَلَى حُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا طيب. So they are, يعني, one of the criteria of the good Muslims that they feed the food and they love this food. Poor. Weyatiman orphan wa asira. Asira. What does it mean of asira? What does it mean of asir? Hmm? Asir. No one? No, not juice. <laughs> not juice. Asir. This is juice means asir. Asir. But I, I mean the word asir. Yes, prisoner. Yes, prisoner. طيب. So, okay. Who are the prisoners? The prisoners should be non Muslims. So, the scholars say it is allowed to feed the non Muslims. Yeah, for example, now I live in a country. For example, you live in UK. You live in India. Okay. So, you want to. Charities, the, 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 the optional charity, sadaqa, not the compulsory zakah, the charity, general charity. Khalas, you have maybe uh, 20 pounds. Okay, can you distribute pound, pound, pound for people outside? You don't know. They are Muslim, you don't know. Some, yes, this is allowed. It is not zakah. Okay, so it is allowed. So what is the meaning of hadith? That if you are inviting people, you have a walima, for example, you have a wedding party. Okay, uh, you, you are married, okay, or your son married your daughter, so are you inviting your friends, okay? So, you call the good people, okay? You don't call the fasiq, the bad people who will spoil your, uh, يعني, subhanAllah, the meeting for you, who, who are not, يعني, practicing Islam, and they are damaging the, your faith, okay? Try to avoid these people, try to avoid these people. Okay. And the, the important hadith, alaykum salam, the important hadith that uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa this is very important hadith, sisters. مثل الجليس الصالح وجليس السوء And I want you to see my name. كحام المسك ونافق الكير The example of a righteous companion and an evil one is that of a carrier of المسك. The seller of المسك is a kind of, it is a type of uh, perfume, musk. The, the, there is in, in the hadith it is mentioned that al musk. al musk. The best perfume is musk. Musk. The, so kahamil al musk wanafik al kir and a blower of billows. Or uh, yes, or blacksmith. As for the carrier of the musk, either he will give to you as a gift, or you will buy from him, or you will find a pleasant odor emanating from him. SubhanAllah. This is the example of the good friend. Okay, so if you have a good friend, what will happen? The Prophet وسلم, said, Look, like the man who is selling perfume. The man who is selling perfume, now you are in the mall, in the shopping. Okay, there is a, a shop for perfumes. What will happen? If you are passing, you find nice smell. 
or he will tell you, "Tahal, come, come, I'm giving you some." He will put on your hand. Okay. Of course, this is if you are a man, but if you are a woman, don't put perfume. Okay, you are in the market. Don't put perfume, please, sisters, because it is not allowed for the women outside. Okay, yani dressing the perfume on their body, on their yani clothes, and the men will he the smell. Okay, so maybe he can uh, put the perfume on a paper, and you put the paper inside your bag. Then people can, will not find the the smell, or or no need. Yani you 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 smell the the perfume from the paper, then you you throw the paper. Taib. Or you enter and you buy. So you have three options and all of them are good. So this is a good friend, subhanAllah. If you meet the good friend, what will happen? At the beginning he will say, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. A dua for you. This is the good sister. When you meet the good sister, the first thing is, Assalamu alaikum. The first thing is smiling, mashallah. The first thing is, how are you? Wallah, I love you, subhanAllah. If you meet your good sister, okay, like Hamil Musk, immediately she, khala, yani, uh, take water. Huh? Yalla, I invite you for a dinner, for a lunch, for a coffee. Okay? Uh, or she will mention uh, something from the Quran and Sunnah. Yani gifts, not, all, uh, not only the gifts, yani perfume, chocolate, biscuit, or watch, mobile. Also, the gift is knowledge. Yani, you know, subhanAllah, some people, mashallah, you feel very happy. Why? Because every time I meet them, they tell me something new. They give me a new hadith. Every time I meet them, they give me a new. And be, try to be a good person. Try, try to be a good person. Okay, teaching people Islam. Okay, how can, oh, maybe some of you will say, Sheikh, how can I teach them everything, every day something new? If we learn. Alaikum salam. If you learn, you can teach people. If, if, yeah. Okay, not necessarily they, they don't know the point, the hadith. Maybe they know, and maybe they don't know. The point is, you give good information for others. SubhanAllah, this is very, very interesting. And this, this is very important. So this is the good person, good practicing Muslim. And the other example, SubhanAllah. The, the, the second one, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَنَافِقُ الْكِيرِ إِمَّا أَنْ يُحْرِقَ ثِيَابَكَ وَإِمَّا أَنْ تَجِدَ مِنْهُ رِيحًا خَبِيثًا Subhanallah. Either he will burn your clothes or you will find a full odor coming from him. Subhanallah. So this is the bad friend. Okay? When you meet the bad friend, okay, immediately cursing, 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 insulting, bad, okay, يعني, sad face, angry face, Okay, backbiting, a'udhu billah, astaghfirullah al-azim, inviting you to do the haram. Subhanallah, always, always, they are giving you, you yani, uh, bad feelings, sins, make, helping you to do the sins. So try your best to avoid them. Try your best to avoid them. Sheikh, somebody asked about the perfume. They said, can women not wear perfume at all? Keep the question. I will keep it 10 minutes, inshallah. Thank you. Sorry, I don't mean the perfume is not allowed for women, but it is not allowed for women if they put the perfume and they walk outside. Then the men, the strangers, smell the uh, nice smell from them. This is not allowed, okay? And we spoke, we, we, full chapter, I know, I know. Okay, they can go back to the chapter of adornment. Number two, so this is number one, to choose the good friend, avoid the bad friend. Uh, number two, loving someone for Allah, subhanAllah. This is wallahi, as I, I said, this is wallahi, very important chapter. Sisters, this is very important chapter. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna Allah yaqul yawm al-qiyama, ayna al-mutahabuna fi jalali? Ayna al-mutahabuna bi jalali? Al-yawma udhilluhum fi dhilli, yawma la dhilla illa dhilli. Verily Allah will say on the day of resurrection, where are those who love one another because of my loftiness? Today I will give them shade in my shade. A day on which there is no shade except for my shade. Subhanallah. May Allah grant us his shade. The, shade, the day of judgment is very important because the sun is, it is too hot. At the day of judgment it will come closer to the people. Subhanallah. May Allah protect us. 
Ask yourself now, how many friends do you have? For sure, everyone has, has friends. Okay, not, not everyone, but generally. I know some people or few people don't have friends. Okay, there is a problem. If you don't have friends, there is a problem. طيب. Ask yourself, why, for example, Fatima or Saida or Layla, why she is your friend? Is it because of money? Is it because of what? Ask yourself. Or it is only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, check yourself. Okay. Uh, of course, I will not say it is haram. Wallahi, this is my friend because wallahi, we, te- we, we, we study together at the same college or in the same school. We study together. I will not say this is haram. But here, brothers, sisters, sorry, sisters, here in this book, we want to learn the manners of Islam for those who are striving to achieve the best way of the practicing Muslims. طيب. أين المتحبون بجلالي؟ طيب. Also, let, let's read this hadith. Okay. The next hadith. Also very nice hadith. All the hadith are nice. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, My love is compulsory for those who love one another for me. For those who sit with one another for me. For those who visit one another for me. And for those who spend charity on one another for me. Let's make it more clear. And I think it is clear. This hadith. This is an important hadith. The Prophet said in this story, A man once visited a brother of his in another village and Allah appointed an angel to lie down and to lie in wait for him on the road he was taking when the man come upon the angel the la- the latter said where do you wish to go the man said i want to visit a brother of mine in this valley the angel asked do you have some blessing or favor upon him he said, no, except that I do indeed love him for Allah. I love him for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taheeb, Azza wa Jal, the angel said, I am indeed a messenger of Allah sent to you to inform you that Allah indeed loves you as you have loved your brother for him. Allahu Akbar. Okay. So, yani imagine I traveled. I book a ticket from Kuwait to UK, to India, to this country, to that country. Okay, maybe I paid 200 KD, 300 KD for the ticket, for the hotel, for the car, for transportation. Why? Because, wallah, I want to meet my friend to say, Salaamu Alaikum, how are you? I love you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then I come back. Nothing to take from him. Nothing to take from him. SubhanAllah. Please, sisters, don't tell me. This is a proof for us that the lady can travel alone without a mahram. No. No. This hadith about a man. This hadith about a man. Okay. But what you can do? Okay. You can travel with your husband. You tell your husband. Okay. Or you tell your brother. You tell your father. Let's go to travel to that country. I want to visit my friend. To, uh, I, I want to give my friend a gift and to say salam to meet her. And we come back. Okay. With your mahram, with your mahram, طيب. So, we need brothers, sisters to check our heart. Check your heart. Okay, why I love this sister? Why I, I, I meet the sister every day or I'm happy to chat with the sister every day? Why, why? Okay, ask yourself. Well, I, because I am a doctor and she is a doctor. I am an officer and she's a, yeah, something. Because subhanAllah, now, nowadays you, you notice that who, who are the friends from the same speciality? Okay, the doctors together, the engineers together, and the teachers together, and or, or sorry, yeah, and only the chemistry teachers together, the physics teachers together. Okay, and they try to make a, a, like a committee together, subhanAllah. So their friendship and their work rely on what? Their job. Okay, not their faith. And you find, subhanAllah, the Muslims and non-Muslims together. 
We, be, we need to be careful, sisters, please. We, we need to be careful. So your love should be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is a point also, one of the manners of friendship. If you love your brother, and of course your sister, if you love your brother for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you should let him know. And as a result, your love for one another will become even stronger. What is the hadith? طيب. Uh, Anas ibn Malik رضي الله تعالى page 428 page 428 Anas ibn Malik رضي الله تعالى عنه and others reported that a man was with the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم when another man passed by the man with the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said he said to the Prophet he did not say to the man he said to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم يا رسول الله indeed I love him أرسل this man I love him the Prophet ﷺ said immediately, okay, أعلمته? Did you inform him? Did you tell him that what you are telling me? Okay, but did you, okay, good. Zakala khair. You, are, you have told me that you love him. But did you inform him? The, the man said, no. The Prophet ﷺ said, then inform him. Go and inform him. You are telling me and without telling him? Okay, Zakala khair, you, you told me. But also tell him, the man with the Prophet ﷺ caught up to the other man and said, Verily, I love you for the sake of Allah. The other man said, May Allah for whose sake you love me, love you. أحبك الله الذي أحببتني فيه. أحبك الله الذي أحببتني فيه. طيب. So this is the sunnah. The sunnah, sisters. Okay, you love this sister. Allah, I am very happy because we like this sister, mashallah. Always, I see her with the mushaf all the time. She is with the mushaf, mashallah. Reading Quran, if there is any break, we are chatting, we are wasting our time, but mashallah, she is with the Quran, revising the Quran, or maybe some book of Bukhari, Muslim, reading uh, Sunnah, mashallah. Wallah, this sister with full hijab, she is niqabi, she is mashallah, polite, not speaking loudly, not laughing loudly like us. So you love her for the sake of Allah. Go and tell her, sister, Allah, I love you. I love you for the sake of Allah. So you reply, if someone told you this, you tell him, أحبك الله الذي أحببتني فيه. But please, sisters, okay? يعني, subhanAllah, some sisters, or let's say a few sisters, I don't know, some or few or many, uh, Sheikh, can I say, can I say uh, to a man, Allah, I love you for the sake of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should be careful. Okay, what is the point that you send a message to a, a sister? Uh, if I am a man and I send to a sister, well, I love you for the sake of Allah. Or if I am a sister, if I am a, a woman, I send to a man, I love you for the sake of Allah. No, don't do that. If he is a mahram, okay, do that. Well, he is your father, yes, tell your father. Every day tell your father. Every, every, uh, every hour, every minute, tell your father, oh, dad, I love you. Okay, no problem. Mashallah, mabrook. This is good that you have a father and you can speak to your father. Say, I love you. Tell your father, I love you. No problem. Tell your husband, I love you. How many times do you tell your husband, I love you? Hmm? I, yeah, when, when, when lecture, subhanAllah. I was talking about the marital life. So I say, yeah, it is good that the person should say to his wife that I love you. So one of the brothers was laughing, يعني, oh, maybe long time. This was maybe only the, the, the first year of marriage. Okay, it was, it was said by once and خلاص. He will not repeat, I love you. He will repeat, I love you for the second wife. خلاص. For every wife, once. once. Astaghfirullah al-Azim. Habibi, this is halal. This is halal to tell your why I love you. And the same thing for the sisters. You tell your husband, I love you. You tell your son. Your daughter, your your father, I love you, okay, for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and also you love you love them for, as nat natural love. This is normal. This is okay. طيب. So please, sisters, okay, you send a message to uh, your teacher. Allah, I love you because the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, if you love a person, you you, you inform him. Okay, uh, this can create a problem. 
if you remember we mentioned about the manners of salam is it allowed to give salam if I am a man I give salam to women or the opposite if I am a woman I give salam to a man okay uh, it depends on the fitna if you think this can create a problem so don't give salam okay yeah for example now I'm teaching you online so I say salam alaikum what is up no problem okay I'm going to the supermarket I say salam alaikum and for example here in Kuwait alhamdulillah Muslims so sometimes the cashier is a woman and she's Muslim. I say salam alaikum. It's normal. It, isn't, it doesn't create any problem. There is no fitna, inshallah. Why? Because we pay money, we leave. Khalas. طيب. But, for example, if there is a woman, you think that this can create a problem, what, what is the meaning of that? Yani, uh, you are, I mean, a man. He is 17 years old. And one of his uh, relatives, she is maybe 16 years old. Okay? So, uh, I gave salam last, last week, for example, there is weekly visit, so I gave salam last week, she said, wa alaykum salam, she smiled, she said, how are you? No. Next week, if I, or uh, any time I meet this uh, lady, I should not give salam, Khalas, because after the salam, there is another story, you should be careful. Tayyip, so the same thing here, sisters, yani, uh, I send a message to a teacher, for example, a sheikh, uh, Allah, I love you for the sake of Allah. No need. Okay. Uh, do you accept that if your your husband is a sheikh, okay, that the ladies are sending him, I love you for the sake of Allah, you will kill the, the, the ladies. صح? Immediately you go and you will fight and you will tell, you tell, you will tell your husband, خلص. Don't do any halqa. Don't do any class. You go to the masjid, you sit alone, you read the Quran and that's it until you're dead. Allah musta'an. طيب. What are important elements? Uh, Important elements of friendship, cheerfulness, gentleness, love, and kindness. When you meet your brother, at the very least, you should meet him with a smile and a cheerful face. It is basic Islamic etiquette. Shuf, the hadith the Prophet وسلم, said, لا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا ولو أن تلقى أخاك بوجه طلق don't dis, uh, dis, uh, disparage. Disparage. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Disparage? Yeah. Okay. Don't disparage in the least any good deed, even if it is to meet your brother with a cheerful face. Okay? Don't think that, no, no uh, this action will not give me a lot of reward. Okay, it is not important. No, no, it is important. If you meet your brother, if you, uh, if you meet the brothers, the sisters, smile. Smile. Okay, meet them, smile, subhanAllah. Why? Because this is sadaqa. It is charity. Why? Because here in the hadith he said it is ma'roof. And the, the other hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, tabassumuka fi wajhi akhik laka sadaqa. Smiling on the face of your brother is, for, is a charity for you. It's a charity for you. Taib. Uh, I remember, uh, maybe you can use this technique, inshallah. This is good technique with your children. Uh, every day when I go, not every day, but sometimes when I drop my children to the school, then I tell my uh, kids, Okay, yeah. give charity, give charity in the school. They say, we don't have money to give charity. I tell them, smile. If you smile, you are giving charity. They, I mean, uh, let's teach ourselves, let's teach the, our children, our family members that the charity is not only money. Food, charity, money, charity, smiling, charity, helping, charity, teaching charity, inshallah. Many things you can do and they are considered as charity. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that tabassumuka fi wajhihik like a sadaqa smile. Some people say when you tell them please smile. Okay, this is they say no no no. I'm like that. My face is like that. Train yourself. What's the problem? Okay. Before twenty years, yeah. For example, now in the, you are in the college. Okay. Before twenty years or before fifteen years, before the joining the school, how many things uh, that you know? You know only A B C D Alif Ba Ta Ta. صح؟ 
And now you know a lot, mashallah. You can give a lecture. How? You learn the same thing. You can learn how to smile. This is, yani, the scholars, when they, this is important, sisters. The scholars say that الأخلاق جبلية أو مكتسبة the manners, the morals that we have are they can we gain the akhlaq can we gain the akhlaq can we gain the morals and the behavior or it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's it okay I am I am a generous person Allah created me as a generous خلاص. that's it or I am a miser I am a brave I am coward the scholars say الأخلاق جبلية ومكتسبة both are correct one man called Ashaj Abdul Qais, a companion called Radiallahu Ta'ala Ashaj Abdul Qais. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Inna fika khaslatayn yuhibbuhum Allahu wa Rasuluh, al-hilm wal anah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to this man, Ashaj Abdul Qais, you have two criteria. Of course, he has many, but these criteria specifically, you have two criteria. Allah loved them. Allah and His Messenger love these two criteria. What are they? Al-hilm wal-ana. Al-hilm means forbearance. Wal-ana yani is, is to be slow and taking an action. Yani not to be in a hurry in doing the things. The man said, Ya Rasulullah, yani hadha khuluq atakhalaq bihi am jabalani Allah alay. Oh Rasulullah, is it a manner? that I, I gained this manner, I trained myself to get this manner, or it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, no, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the scholars say, they say, the scholars, this hadith is a proof that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give manners for some people. And sometimes you can gain the manners. Why? Because in the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi mentioned that al-hilm or sabr bit-tahallum or bit-tasabbur that you can get forbearance or patience by learning that. So what is my point, sisters, is try your best to learn the good akhlaq. Taib, we have questions? Um, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, I'll stop here. I'll continue this chapter next week.